When it comes to mixed martial arts, MMA, Taekwondo often grabs attention due to its graceful yet powerful techniques. Despite some doubters questioning its effectiveness in the MMA cage, the accomplishments of fighters trained in Taekwondo speak louder than words. Let's dive into the stories of some incredible martial artists who've successfully transitioned from traditional Taekwondo to dominating the MMA arena. Sankle's journey into the martial arts world is as unique as it is inspiring. Born on August 28, 1985, he honed his skills at his father's gym, mastering Taekwondo from a young age. As his passion grew, so did his expertise, and Lee added Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to his repertoire, earning black belts in both disciplines. His solid foundation in martial arts gave him the perfect launch pad to enter the world of MMA. And there's the boy Tyke from Chinley from Tyke. Tyke Hashi back to the corner. The lesser guy has got the lead. Lay made his professional MMA debut in 2017, stepping into the cage at an LFA event. Facing Alex Black, he wasted no time showcasing his powerful Taekwondo techniques, winning the fight in the first round via TKO. Lee's devastating kicks and precise punches made an immediate impression. By 2019, Tan Lei's career had reached new heights when he joined one championship. In his debut, he made waves by knocking out Yusup Sadulayev. Yusup Sadulayev thinks it's a high kick again, but Tan Lee switches the high kick into a knee straight down the line. His journey didn't stop there, as Lei soon earned the one featherweight world championship defeating Martin Nguyen in a thrilling bout at one inside the Matrix. After an intense back and forth, Lei delivered a TKO in the third round, capturing the title and cementing his name among MMA's elite fighters. Next up is a name that has become synonymous with excellence in the world of MMA, Rose Namajunas. Known for her calm demeanor outside the cage and her explosive energy within it, Rose's journey in martial arts began early. At just five years old, she started learning Taekwondo, and by the age of nine, she had earned her black belt. She didn't stop there. Rose also delved into karate and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, refining her all-around skills. Her amateur MMA debut came in 2010, and it was nothing short of dominant. At the North American Fighting Championship, Rose defeated Melissa Pacheco in the first round via TKO, overwhelming her opponent with a barrage of strikes. It was clear that she was destined for greatness and in 2013, Rose made her professional debut with Invicta FC. One of her standout performances came at Invicta FC 6, where she fought Tetia Torres. Remember, took her just 12 seconds, but there's Torres dropping the ground and pound with While Rose ultimately lost the fight, she left a lasting impression with her incredible use of Taekwondo kicks. This fight helped Rose sharpen her skills, and in 2017, she captured the UFC Strawweight Championship. <laughs> Proving that her blend of Taekwondo and other martial arts made her a formidable force in the MMA world. 
a conversation about Taekwondo and MMA wouldn't be complete without mentioning Benson Henderson, a fighter known for his smooth, calculated fighting style. Henderson began his martial arts training at the age of nine, thanks to his Korean mother, who introduced him to Taekwondo. Earning a black belt early on, Henderson later expanded his skill set, incorporating wrestling and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu into his training. Henderson made his professional MMA debut in 2006. I'm not, I'm not gonna be anybody's stepping stone. Ben is smooth tonight. Quickly rising to prominence, he became the UFC lightweight champion and held titles in the WEC, solidifying his reputation as one of the best in the 170-pound division. Henderson's knee strikes and kicks, honed from years of Taekwondo training, were particularly feared. Despite his success, one of his most memorable defeats came at the hands of another Taekwondo practitioner, Anthony Pettis. Anthony Pettis is another Taekwondo master who made a significant impact in MMA. Starting his Taekwondo journey at the age of five, Pettis achieved a third-degree black belt by the time he turned 18. Like Henderson, Pettis also mastered Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, becoming one of the most dangerous fighters in the lightweight division. Known for his flashy and unorthodox techniques, Pettis was one of the most feared fighters of his era. One moment that stands out in his career is his iconic Showtime kick, delivered against Benson Henderson. Pettis leaped off the cage to land a flying kick to Henderson's face. And Stephen, I cannot think of a better way to bring down oh, the curtain. Oh my God. And Pettis, what do you see? I cannot think of a better way to bring down oh. the curtain. A move that left fans in awe and cemented his place in MMA history. Pettis's mastery of Taekwondo was also evident in his fight against Donald Cerrone where a vicious body kick earned him a knockout victory, showcasing the raw power of Taekwondo. One fighter whose style continues to mesmerize fans is Yair Rodriguez, nicknamed El Pantera. Rodriguez's journey in martial arts began at the age of five, when he started training in Taekwondo. His skills developed rapidly, and he earned numerous accolades in the sport before transitioning to MMA. Rodriguez made his professional debut in 2011, and his explosive style quickly earned him a reputation as one of the most dynamic fighters in the UFC. Rodriguez's creativity in the cage is unmatched, as he blends traditional Taekwondo techniques with unique and unpredictable movements. One of his most memorable fights was against the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. In the final moments of the fight, Rodriguez landed a stunning reverse elbow strike, knocking out Jung and securing one of the most jaw-dropping finishes in UFC history. Oh, nice body kick. One more flurry. Last but not least, we have Akop Stepanian, a fighter with an impressive Taekwondo background. Born in 1986, Stepanian earned his black belt and became the Russian national Taekwondo champion in 2002. He later transitioned into kickboxing and boxing, giving him a well-rounded striking game. However, his ground game has been a vulnerability throughout his career with many of his losses coming by submission. Despite these challenges, Stepanian remains a feared striker, with 16 of his victories coming by knockout. His signature taekwondo kicks have stopped several opponents in their tracks, and his knockout over Anatoly Angelovsky, which combined spinning kicks and a barrage of punches, stands as a testament to his stand-up dominance. Taekwondo, with its blend of speed, power, and precision, has proven to be a valuable asset in MMA. Fighters like Thang Lei, 
Rose Namajunas, Benson Henderson, Anthony Pettis, Yair Rodriguez, and Akop Stepanian have shown that the techniques of this ancient martial art can still thrive in the world's toughest combat sport. Their stories not only highlight the effectiveness of Taekwondo, but also demonstrate the versatility required to succeed in modern MMA. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Taekwondo's influence on MMA, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting content. See you in the next video.